There are a lot of nations that you can form in Europa Universalis 4. They can be as simple as a cosmetic rename or as massive as a cultural unification like Germany, Spain, or Russia. And these formable nations, as we call them in the EU4 space, often have pretty strict requirements so that not just any schmuck who happens to own the correct provinces can change into a more powerful nation. These requirements can be religious, cultural, technology, among other things. But for today, we're going to use a cool mod that removes those requirements, basically letting any nation that can form a different country do that. And if you want to check it out, the mod is going to be linked in the description. And while you're down there, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. It really does help me out. And real quick, if you're looking for a fun way to get involved with myself or my community, patrons and channel members get exclusive fancy roles and access to supporter-only chats in the Discord. It's a fun time in there, and I want to invite you in if you want to support. You also get early access to all the videos on this channel. Check out the links in the description. So yeah, like I would have said in the intro, it, it looks pretty normal. Basically, it looks like a vanilla 1444. Uh, it's only whenever we get into like the decision, for the most part, for the decisions, that's when things start to really look different. Like, for example, you can see uh, Austria here can form the German nation, which will dismantle the HRE. Needless to say, that's going to have some interesting effects. Uh, but why do that when they could literally just form the Roman Empire, I guess? Anybody can form anybody for the most part, as long as they like own land or have the right culture, I think is kind of the uh, the limitations. That way you don't have like, you know, the Roman Empire in India as, as cool as that would be. So we're going to see how things look, but we're going to have to turn it on up to speed five and unpause. While the Golden Horde had formed uh, and then immediately switched to the Mongol Empire, we have Ilkhanate down here right next to Persia. So we definitely have some formables going through there. But this one right here takes the cake for me. Not Austria, but Hungary. Roman Empire. I'm a huge fan of that, and I hope that they do well. Another week later, we have the Mughals popping out out of Baluchistan, like the one culture that is not really Mughal right? Because they're like Uzbeki, which is very funny. But here we go. We have Mughals, Timurids, and Persia all existing at the same time, which is super, super funny. We also have Egypt right across from uh, Rum, Rum or whatever, um, right across from the Mamluks who have been reformed in Morocco, shifting over to Clemson, just south of Spain, <laughs> and they're friends of Castile is north of Andalusia. So I like this mod a lot. This is a really good mod. We do also have Great Britain just across the sea from Scandinavia here in Denmark and uh, Lotharingia has formed as well. So very good formables. I do hope that we see more. Uh, we also have the most beautiful, perfect toothpaste color going on over here in Sardinia, Piedmont formed by Savoy. So pretty good. Oh, and uh, Pope Man formed the kingdom of God. It's just a cosmetic name, but still, I'm a, I'm a big fan of that. Oh, and I almost missed this. The Lithuanian Polish Commonwealth right next to Poland. I, uh, dude, I, I got to like hold it together. I love this. And Romania, like I'm just going to keep on seeing these guys as we're playing. The Golden Horde now borders the Mongol Empire. So it's just like, oh, I love it. Odoev is Russia. One province minor, Russia. Like, bro, this mod is perfect. This is perfect. This is what this channel is all about. And I assume that it was Galray that did it. United the Netherlands and now... Other people are getting events like East Frisia and Friesland, Utrecht. They're all joining the Netherlands now, so that's pretty good. We do have a couple of formables in Germany as well. We have Westphalia or Westphalia. We also have Franconia and Pomerania has formed up here uh, from Mecklenburg, which is pretty good as well. Still no Hanover, though I'm sure we're going to see it, but um, we do have a Germany in Oldenburg. They're a one province minor with generic unit models in Germany. Okay, man. <laughs> And I lied, we do have Hanover. They're literally right next door in Bremen. So very good. I am a, bro, I, I keep saying it. I love this mod. These sorts of mods are what I live for on the workshop. That is aside from Post Phenom, which you should subscribe to if you're not already because it's a really good mod. I would know, I made it. <laughs> well, Maywar has formed Rajputana. Uh, Jeanpur has formed Hindustan. So we've got a couple of that. And then Bharat has been formed by, uh, I don't actually know over here. I was gonna say Orissa, but it's not them. They're like inside these nations. So I don't know who formed them, but Bharat is here. So we have all of the Indian formables. Very cool. We also have Nepal up in the north, who is a very strong military nation, but as a one province minor in like the mountains, probably not going to do a whole lot. Manchu has also entered the picture. Uh, probably will do okay. They get lots of cores or, or claims on the local region. So hopefully they'll get a power base. That'd be cool to see. And meanwhile, over on the Isles, the British are dominating. It's been like five years and they've taken a ton of land up here in Scotland, as well as over in Ireland. Uh, definitely doing British things. So 
more to come, I'm sure. And on the other side of Europe, we have our uh, Hungarian Holy Roman Empire doing well, pushing down into uh, Bosnia and Serbia, taking a little bit of land from both of them. So uh, hopefully they can get a power base up. Obviously, I'm a little bit of a Roma boo, so I'm rooting for them. We do also have a um, Italy from Ferrara, as well as a Tuscany from Siena. I'm sure there's just like a ton of these little formal bulls popping out that I just don't see because I'm not paying attention. But uh, I'm a big fan of this. I, I love like just the, the chaos that it's adding. I just I love it a lot. Yemen ate Arabia down here. So then Arabia popped up out here from like Medina. So that's pretty good as well. I do believe Nubia is also a new one. And I don't know if there's any formables down here. But I don't see any if there are. Uh, but I do have my eyes on Dahomies. If you don't know, Dahomies get early access to these videos. They are wonderful people who click the join button below the video and uh, get special roles in the chats in the Discord. So you should check that out if you're interested and you want to support the channel. <laughs> Room has been annexed by the Ottomans, but uh, don't worry. They still exist in our hearts this time. The Seljuk Turks, the, the Seljuk Empire. I actually didn't even know that was a thing. That must be a King of Kings thing, if I had to guess. But uh, very cool to see, nonetheless. And Ilkhanate looking mildly scary, just a little bit. We've got a little bit of cannibalism going on over here. Spain eating Spain. Rome is eternal, beating up on Venice at the moment. Uh, meanwhile, in the north, the Poles are beating up on the Lithuanian Poles, I suppose, uh, gangbanging them with the Muscovites. Uh, so probably not doing well. I assume, I assume that they're going to form the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth once the Lithuanian-Polish Commonwealth is dealt with, because they can do that. Now, Spain, why'd you go and do that? What is this snaking that I am seeing from this AI? I am disgusted by this, and I do not endorse it. But I do endorse the uh, Moroccan Mamluks doing well, integrating their subjects um, with Morocco over here, getting cut off by Castile. Very funny. I love this. Mughals have been cut down to one province over here with Sindh going ahead and uh, dunking on them. Ilkhanate and Persia going back and forth right now, but it looks like Ilkhanate probably going to come out on top of that one. And then the British over here finishing their uh, slow but sure consolidation of the Emerald Isle. Don't really know what's going on over in Java. I'm pretty sure that Majapahi got split by these two nations, but then they full annexed Sunda over here. So that's a thing, I guess. So Poland continues to do some blobbing, annexing the entirety of the Balkan states, minus Riga, eating more of the Lithuanian Polish Commonwealth, as well as some of the Teutons with the Danzigs and Danzigers as their subject. Uh, meanwhile, the Roman Empire continues to blob, pushing down into like Illyria, I guess you could call it, and uh, looking very strong. Kingdom of God over here in North Italy, though, doing quite well. Italy got annexed, but don't worry. New Italy is here. And Sweden ate Norway, as well as Scandinavia, splitting it with Volgast, of all people. So uh, there you go there. But a lot of border changes going on over here with Ilkhanate eating a ton of land over here and Persia just dumpstering what was left of the Timurids after their final little uh, vassal swarm beat up on them. Sadly, the Mughals were gone from down here, but don't worry. They popped up over here from, like, Khorasan, so... There you go. And India is still very much anybody's game, but it does look like Dakan is probably the major with a Hindustan getting ganged up on at the moment. Goa made their way down here and ate up Zimbabwe. Very sad, but you know, not very surprising. And meanwhile, Congo just uh, doing their normal thing. We're about 40 years in and Cape Verde as well as uh, Puerto Rico are being colonized by the Portuguese. And uh, you know, one province left until Great Britain unites the Isles like 50 years in. So, okay. So we've got uh, an Aelid over here of uh, Romania or whatever, but for some reason, the Roman Empire has taken a province from the Ottomans, maybe even two. I don't know if Cyprus was theirs before or not. Either way, the Ottomans are still doing very well, despite seemingly being surrounded by people that are probably going to be able to beat up on them. Considering how strong some of these tags are, I would not be surprised at all. Not the Mongols, though. The Mongols are not strong right now. Though clearly, I think Russia, like well, Odoyev, Russia was annexed because now we have Russia, like a proper Russia. Uh, same with Scandinavia. They ate up Denmark, Scandinavia, and now we have Scandinavian Scandinavia, which is Swedish. The British are over here beating up on the French, unrelated to the mod, but Lotharingia over here uniting the Lowlands, which is pretty cool to see. Also, I don't know what's going on over here. Looks like uh, Prussia formed somehow. Not Brandenburg, though. And uh, Austria ate Bohemia. And now Bohemia is one province minor. We have Moravia, who was also popped out. So uh, yeah, things are looking a little weird over here. And still just whatever this gnarly mess is. They didn't even take any more provinces since we last looked. Just this one here and then like Gibraltar. 
Oh, there is some border gore going on out in the steppes. What is this? Looks like Russia beat up on Chagatai or something. Mongolia annexed like most of Oirat. They're like one province now over here. This is gross. I don't like this. Portugal colonizing La Plata with Spanish over here in Brazil. Then we have the other Spanish, the Castilians, down here in Guinea. The Portuguese over in the Caribbean with the Castilians, not the Spanish, in Florida. And the British over in Newfoundland and Lower Acadia. The Reformation has begun with one center over here, one center over here, and one center in Stockholm. And with the Age of Reformation coming very shortly, Great Britain out in the number one spot, though it's only because of institution, it's actually the Ottomans and the Ming in the number one and two, uh, followed by Russia very closely, Castile, Poland, not the Lithuania Polish Commonwealth, but Poland, and then the Roman Empire in the seventh spot from Hungary, followed by Spain. From Aragon so lots of really cool tags to see kind of funny to see like Castile and Spain in the same like leader list but we're gonna be keeping an eye on this this is gonna be pretty cool <laughs> all right so things are looking a little funky here it's been about 100 years since we last checked in Austria is beating up on the Romans Lithuania uh ended up coming back and beating the Poles and is now in a massive war against Spain and Castile with Great Britain on their side but they do have Prussia they're full occupied by Lotharingia. Scandinavia is full occupied by Lotharingia. Britain is heavily occupied by Lotharingia. And then this war is just separate from it all. But Persia is helping the Romans, I guess, which is... It's definitely something. Very late to see it, but this is actually the League War going on right now. With, um, with the Protestants losing quite heavily and the Emperor of Lotharingia, Henry de Bourgnon, leading the empire. Uh, it is still here. Obviously, it's not doing well. Uh, they are, they're varying. They didn't pass a single reform, but um, a win is a win, I suppose. And then this war is literally just a reconquest war because I guess the Romans took some land and then Austria took offense to that. 73,000 men to 3,000. That's, uh, that's pretty sad. They also have a Hohenzollern, which is super funny. Ottomans still doing pretty good. Somehow the Timurids have some land over here. Don't ask me how. Persia doing very good. And then Bengal ended up eating Hindustan, pushing them down into here, with Dakan getting pushed over here, and VJ just kind of chilling in the south. But uh, meanwhile, over here, we do have Siam. They're doing very well. And I believe that uh, Majapahit formed Malaya, the Majapahit Empire. So things have kind of jumped around, various formables popping out and then getting annexed. But uh, overall, it's still pretty unsteady over here. Though Siam doing well. Ming collapsed and is two tags now. Wu is, I guess, kind of counting. And then Manchu beating up on the Russian Tartary because uh, Russia has been dumpstered. So yeah, definitely a lot of things going on over here. The colonial game is heating up. We have Castile down here and then Great Britain made their way over into Angola, though they're getting occupied currently. Congo doing well with Moravi over here, which I believe is like a one province minor over in the Zanzibar coast or something along those lines. Uh, the South American continent is uh, still getting split between the Portuguese, the Spanish, and the Castilians. Three different tags, with the French taking Mexico, which you don't usually see. The Caribbean going to Portugal. Spanish Louisiana, Castilian Florida, New Scandinavia competing with the 13 colonies, and then uh, Breton Canada, because, you know, the Quebecois, I guess, are going to be a Breton. They're speaking a different dialect and then Newfoundland. And then over on the West Coast, we do have the Castilians in San Francisco in the Bay Area, though they are also getting occupied in the uh, the League War, which is truly a world war. Oh, and the Portuguese in Australia and New Zealand, but you know, you can just assume that they do that because they do it every game. <laughs> and uh, I don't think the, the HRE is doing well. Uh, it's been split. We have the East and the West over here with Austria and Lotharingia. And then the Roman Empire getting a Mary Nostrum of the Black Sea by the looks of it, as well as just slicing and dicing up the Ottomans with Spain with their capital over here now in Salento. So uh, yeah, France, who's revolutionary by the way, has pushed Spain out of Catalonia. Now Portugal is actually dominating Castile. So it's a little weird over here in Iberia, quite a bit of uh, interesting border changes. And speaking of interesting border changes, Spanish Maghreb with uh, Castilian Maghreb, giving a big hug to Andalusia with their capital over here in uh, Matija. So, okay. <laughs> Holy Yemen, Batman. That is a good Yemen. Big Yemen. Has nothing to do with the mod, but is doing well. And I am here for it. They got content in King of Kings, so hopefully it's helping them. And uh, looking over here, you're going to see Persia's name isn't even showing up because Persia is, uh, Persia's big. 
and Persia is very, very scary, pushing Russian West Siberia well out of the way. Also big and scary is Siam, Delhi, back from the ashes with Dakon and Vijay doing okay. And it looks like somebody else has formed Bharat over in the West. So all good things going on in India. Out East, we've got Manchu giving a hug to Korea with Japan giving a hug to all of them, though Japan is still quite disunited. So, uh, okay. And the colonizers have made their way over to the East Indies. So uh, it's only a matter of time before we start seeing some conflicts with them. Though this Pasai, I'm sure, has a big navy. Uh, we also have the Breton Sulawesi, or whatever that island is called, Sulawesi. And um, okay, I'm pretty good. For, I'm pretty good with that. The Castilian Indonesia has also got a good ring to it with the Majapahit Empire. Not looking like much of an empire, if I'm being honest. Africa has been sliced and diced by the colonizers with only a couple of African natives left over with South America mostly finished between the Portuguese, the Spanish, and the Castilians. And then uh, Scandinavian Colombia is uh, that color. We're gonna have to take a look at that. We do also have French Mexico, which we did before, as well as Pacifico Norte and uh, Castilian California. But um, yeah. All right, we have an American culture, Anglican, American Empire under Emperor Carlos Stuart. There you go. It also appears that the Lithuanian Polish Commonwealth has uh, annexed, uh, looks like Scandinavia's subject or something along those lines. I don't really know how they have it because Scandinavia does still exist. Uh, not really, but they do have it. They must have just taken it from them in a war. They're allied to the Roman Empire, so that's pretty good. But we've got... Uh, the von Hohenzollerns over here, so lots of them. Oh, even more cursed. Austria's got De Trastamara, which is just awesome. And the Spanish have von Habsburg. I'm done, man. We've got De Trastamara in Great Britain as well, bro. Oh, this is so good. And of course they have them in Portugal as well, because why wouldn't they? So with one final check-in to go, we've got Lotharingia out in the first great power slot, which is really cool to see, followed by Austria, Portugal, Siam in the fourth spot. Very nice. Persia in the fifth. No surprise at all, though I'm actually surprised they're not higher. So uh, once they embrace that institution, they will be number one. Roman Empire with under 2,000 in the sixth slot, with United States, the actual number two, in the seventh slot once they embrace institution, and then Great Britain in the eighth with over 1,500 development. <laughs> and so the borders got a little bit worse, a lot less French, but a lot more Lotharingian, which is kind of French, so take from that what you will. The rest is all Austrian, apparently. Didn't form a nation, just decided to do their own thing. Uh, doing whatever this is to the revolutionary commonwealth. Though it looks like Yemen decided to join the race and of uh, nations forming other nations and Arabia was formed, which is pretty cool, with a revolutionary Najd inside of them. Uh, Persia is still around, though not really in any major capacity, bordered by a very, very snaky Austria, because Austria decided to take all of this, I guess. We also have Persian West Siberia, because Persia was very big last time we looked. Now they're not. They used to be like Russia. And then look at this. Siam. Very massive, though. A lot of this land is like kind of garbage step slash mountain land. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but Korea over here ended up winning kind of the, the e Far East race, I guess. Um, it's really ugly, but they, I do believe that they won. Spice Islands continue to be pretty messy with Pasai switching from Sumatra over to Java. So that's pretty cool. Now, I don't really know what this is. I don't know how this happened. But that's Jerusalem. And their capital is, is West Timor. Okay. Uh, I, I, that's all I got, man. I, I have no idea. <laughs> British Southern Africa with Portuguese East Africa, I guess. Uh, Portugal taking also the West with the Roman Empire being relegated to just a couple of provinces over here. Looks like their capital is uh, over here. No, I actually don't know, even know where their capital is. Oh, here it is in uh, Mycia. So, yikes. <laughs> The new world is pretty independent with Brazil over here, Mexico over here, and the United States doing even more manifesting of destiny than they were the last time we looked. And uh, France, my friends, is now Greenland. <laughs> Their capital is in Greenland. I love this. Like the mod has nothing to do with this, or at least this, the, it, this could happen in a vanilla run, I guess I should say. But um, this is like the best outcome. I love this. Religious map mode is pretty interesting. Uh, of course, Austria is reformed. The rest is Catholic, except for Anglican, is pretty normal, though there is a ton of land that is occupied by nations that do not follow that faith. It does look like the Roman Empire or the Spanish, one of the two, converted 
all of this to Catholic, which is pretty cool to see. We also have quite a bit of goofiness going on over here with Tangri still being the majority uh, religion over here in Manchuria. Buddhism doing well. Catholicism doing pretty good over in the Indies. Uh, and then down under, of course, it's all Catholic. That's pretty normal. They didn't do anything with the colonial stuff. It's it's colonial stuff. It's pretty boring. A lot of disunity, but a lot of Catholicism in Africa. Look at that. A very Catholic Africa. I feel like you don't see that very often. Oh, and shout out the Coptic Nubians doing pretty good as well. It's all Catholic in the South. All Catholic up here with Anglican, uh, the American religion over here. Uh, though I guess you could kind of call it like, uh, you know, Methodist. A lot of people don't know this. The American Methodism, the Church of Methodist Church, whatever. It's based on the Anglican Church. It's like a reformation of the Anglican Church, which is a reformation of the Catholic faith. So in a weird tangential way, Anglican and Methodism is actually quite close to Catholic. Obviously, there's a crazy amount that you could argue about that like, is different with doctrine and all that. But for the all intents and purposes, it's a lot closer to Catholic than like Protestant. So pretty cool. Little tidbit of information for you today. Lots of Mexican and Castilian as well as Catalan culture over here with English and American over in the eastern portions. French and Louisianian in Mexico. And then in the south is mostly Platinian with Brazilian. Of course, Brazilian outside of Brazil for the most part. And then a couple of Swedish stuff because, you know, a little bit of Swedish colonization. Why not? Pomeranians did quite a bit of culture conversion over here. I think they pushed a lot of the Saxons out of there and then some random Prussian provinces over here. So that's pretty funny. I do believe the Swedes ate up the Norwegians as well as the Finns. So wasn't my choice. I believe this uh, Kaliji has pushed the Belushis out of Belushistan. Uh, but aside from that, it's pretty samey over here. The Basque got eaten up by the Gascons. So that's a thing as well. We finished this one with Revolutionary Austria, well out in first and very well deserved. Love to see that. Lotharingia in the second place with the US with almost a thousand dev, less than them, in the third. Portugal in the fourth with Siam in the fifth, Great Britain in the sixth, Brazil, an independent New World nation in the seventh, and a nation breakaway from China, you, in the eighth spot. We have an economic hegemon for uh, Lotharingia looking pretty good and a naval hegemon for the United States. A little bit of that gunboat diplomacy. Super fun little mod. I appreciate that a lot. If you want to check it out, it's going to be linked in the description, like I would have said in the intro. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. And if you have a suggestion of something you'd like to see in the future, leave it in the comments down below. If you haven't already subscribed and ding the bell, I don't know what I got to do to get you to stick around, but you should. If you want to get early access to videos, check out the join button below the video. And I want to thank you for making it to the very end of this video and tell you that I hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day. Special thanks to Kaiser Dar of Akadia, Sheol, Gamus23, Ian Powell, Cannon Fodder, Josh Kipchinski, Agent Rhino, Blonde Damon, Isaiah, Rover, Bubba J, Saronska, Ricardo, Cobalt, Rex Rex, Nathan Albright, and many more.